Chad here from Purple Color Life and today I want to talk about flashlights and just like if you've seen in the previous garage clean out video I've got a little bit of a tire problem when it comes to my vehicles I've also got a little bit of a flashlight problem I really like flashlights I like to see how bright they are how long they last how many batteries they take um, I just really like to always know that I have a good flashlight in all my vehicles and in the camper and at home and to date this flashlight is by far my favorite this is a flashlight that my sister and brother-in-law got for me. It's the Nightcore MH20. And this, this flashlight I, I take with me almost everywhere. I keep it in what I call my get home bag, which is what some people would call maybe an everyday carry bag. So when I'm traveling to and from work, this is always in my backpack with me. Uh, it holds a charge forever. It's got multiple settings from low to extremely bright. Um, and a, just a, a perfect flashlight to have with you all the time and like I said you don't have to charge it very often because it holds a charge for a long time I get this flashlight out of my backpack every time we go camping and it's a great flashlight to have at camp for walking over to the restrooms or on the super bright mode I can shine it out across the lake and make sure everything's okay with the boat uh, as we go into the evening time I also like it's got this nice sheath and like I said this is my favorite flashlight but now there's a close runner up. Recently I picked up this LE LED searchlight and it's about $30 on Amazon. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice about it if you check it out is it's extremely lightweight. You pick this thing up and you're kind of picturing uh, when we were kids flashlights this size had those big square 6 volt batteries inside them and they're heavy this is extremely lightweight. I mean, I can't even describe to you how light this feels in your hands. Um, it does have a nice shoulder strap. It has multiple th things on the back here. You've got a charging port, and that allows you to charge the flashlight as well as use that port to charge other devices. It comes with a cord that's a USB on both ends. I like that. I like the dual USB connection rather than the micro to a regular. Uh, this just makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of this cord. It has an LED light on the side with multiple levels, two levels. It has LED emergency light on this side. So you could set this, you know, if you have a flat tire or something at your car, you can have this light flashing the oncoming traffic and this light giving you your light to be working and this is extremely bright I'll show you some video of us using this in the evening uh, it's a really bright flashlight it also has a regular flashlight function with two levels it has a level one and a level two now this is a little confusing to me, I assumed the level 2 would be the brighter one, but actually the level 1 is the bright one, level 2 is the dimmer one, and it, it's almost too bright for camp, because even on the lowest level, um, you feel like you're, you're really lighting up the road when you're walking with it. In fact, if we walk with this flashlight, we use the side light instead of the front spotlight, but it is called a searchlight, and it would work really well for searching. It is water resistant, it's a 10 watt rechargeable LED searchlight um, but again we've used this all week at camp we haven't even got the lantern out of the cupboard of the camper we've used this if we're working at night to you know make pizza pies or make some hot dogs we just set this on the table it lights up the entire table at nighttime and works great and the battery seems to last forever we've used this making pizza pies probably two hours one night and then I had it on last night making hot dogs it's never been charged 
and it still has four lights. And anytime you turn on any light, it turns on these light indicators. So you can see how much battery is left. And then that goes off when you turn the light out. So we are really happy with this flashlight. The literature here gives some of the specifications. Color temperature is 6500 to 7500. Um, it's a 10 watt. Input output voltage is 5 volts DC. It's IPX4 water resistant. It does have lithium ion batteries in it. So it tells you the duration of the light. The what they're calling the headlight, which is the regular spotlight function. If you use it on low, will last five hours. On high, lasts two hours. The side white light on high lasts six hours. On low, lasts 12 hours. And like I said, we've used it at least three hours so far and hasn't even lowered the battery level one indicator position. And the power bank inside is a 3600 milliamp hour power bank. So that's not super powerful, but it would charge your phone if you needed it. And it doesn't take a long time to charge, it's just smaller capacity, and it lasts a really long time as its intended function of a flashlight. So I'll put some pictures of this and then video of us using it, but you know, not, not quite as good as the Night Core, but a great flashlight to have if you wanted to keep one in your car. Like I said, it's really lightweight, uh, perfect for camping. We're gonna use this instead of getting that lantern out as often. Uh, because it does light up such a, a great area with the side light and I'm really happy with it. Uh, sometimes you buy things off Amazon and you don't know if they're going to be good or not. This was certainly a great thing. Only downsides to it, since, they're, since it's so lightweight, it makes me wonder if it could be a little smaller. Uh, it's probably good if you're using it as a searchlight, but when you're using it to walk over to the restroom at night, it's, it's pretty big. This, the headlight portion of it, like I said, it's super bright, shines out to check on the boat grade at nighttime on level one or level two. I actually wish there was one lower level that was more of just uh, taking a walk on the road level and not a searchlight level. Again, really like the flashlight. I would recommend it. I'll put a link down below if I'm able, having some trouble with the Amazon affiliates links, so we'll see if we can get that figured out. If not, you can find this on Amazon if you search for LE LED searchlight. And thank you for tuning in. We don't always do product reviews, but every once in a while when we come across a product that we really like and want to share it with others, uh, I figure this is a good platform to do that. So thank you for watching. Uh, please click that subscribe button and share with your friends.